Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Calling all men. Calling all men. Listen, God gave me a dream, and it is addressed to young men who are living under someone else's roof, be it your grandmother, be it your mother's, your father's, your sister brother's, your friend, your folk, your woman, your whatever. Whoever you are living with, this is not about righteousness right in through here. This is about practical consideration of others. None of these people should be burdened down with feeding you, putting a roof over your head, paying your utilities, and running you around town. Nobody should be burdened with you. Even if you get a disability check, you should take part of that disability and pay your half of the rent, your half of the food. Now, if there are three or four people, divide it up if they're all adults. But you need to contribute to the household. It is nobody's obligation to raise a grown man. Now, you may not like me for saying it, but even the Bible says, if you don't work, you should not eat. And there's no reason to work if you're not contributing to the household. That's not play money. That's not your allowance. You are to contribute. They are contributing to your livelihood by enabling you to stay somewhere that you could not afford to stay elsewhere for the amount of money there that they would like for you to pay. But you've got to pay something. You've got to carry your weight. Don't think that it's their responsibility. When you were a boy, yes, it was. But if you really consider yourself a man, guess what? Man up. Pay your part. Carry your load. Take the trash out when it's needed. Wash the dishes. Don't think that you're just to come home and sit up and watch TV because you're a man. Help in any way possible. All right. That, I believe, is your message from your father in heaven. He wants men, calling all men, not boys. If you think you're a man, you call yourself a man, you want to be thought of as a man, Act like one. Pay your part. Don't go home with your little paycheck, gamble it away, play it away, screw it away. And then when they're struggling to pay the bills and they're struggling to put food on the table, you're scratching your head like, I don't know what's wrong with them. Why do they have an attitude? Don't get me started. All right. Mother has spoken and you better not call me mama either.